You might have heard that you need a vision for your future. If you don't have a vision, you'll go wherever life takes you and you probably won't like where you end up. You don't have to have a vision, but I do believe you have to find one. You gotta have a vision board, it's gotta be written down. You can have what you want, but you have to aim at it. You gotta at least know there's a target, then you gotta try to hit it. Arnold Schwarzenegger always talks about having a vision. So that's rule number one, have a vision. The most important thing is that you have a vision, that you have a goal. You see, if you don't have a vision of where you go, and if you don't have a goal where you go, you drift around and you never end up anywhere. But what if you can't think of a vision for yourself? What if you don't know exactly what kind of future you want? Arnold has useful tips for you in his latest book, be useful. He says, if you can't think of a vision, start small. There are two things that you should do. Number one, create little goals for yourself. Little goals. Start by building daily habits that propel you forward. Focus on making improvements and banking achievements one day at a time. Exercise goals, nutrition goals, reading goals, getting your home organized. Start doing things that you like to do or that makes you really proud of yourself for having completed them. Notice how doing that changes what you are paying attention to. All of a sudden, you will find yourself looking at things differently. Of course, it's not as easy as it sounds. Life gets crowded and complicated as you get older. It'll be hard at first, but do you know what's harder? Living a life that you hate. Now that's hard. Once you've developed a rhythm with those daily little goals and they are now habits, create weekly and monthly goals. Let your vision open up in front of you from there. Your sense of uselessness will start to loosen its grip and then you take the second step. Number two, create time and space in your life, however short in the beginning, for inspiration to find its way in and for the discovery process to actually happen. Create time and space to think, to daydream, to look around and be present in the world and let inspiration and ideas in. Walking is perhaps one of the best ways to do this. Beethoven used to walk carrying blank pages of sheet music and a pencil. Aristotle would lecture his students while taking long walks. Friedrich Nietzsche said only ideas gained from walking have any value. Einstein formed many of his theories about the universe while walking around Princeton University campus. Author and philosopher Henry David Thoreau said the moment my legs begin to move, my thoughts begin to flow. But you don't need to be a genius to experience the power of walking. A 2014 Stanford study found that walking improves creativity. Or just Google walk change life. You'll find dozens of articles of people who say the simple act of daily walking has profoundly changed their lives. Now Arnold says for his personal space and time for being with his thoughts is while he's biking or in his jacuzzi every night where he says he's had some of his best ideas. But walking is certainly the most accessible to everyone. So to summarize, if you don't have a vision for your future, step one is to build daily habits that make you proud for having completed them and step two is to create space and time to think, daydream, and be present in the world to let ideas in. Making walking a daily habit is perhaps the best way to do both steps at once. I've made walking for an hour while listening to audiobooks a daily habit, which is not creating space and time to daydream, like Arnold said. And while I'm still stumbling in my progress here and there, like I've slacked off in posting videos for the last week, I feel like my trajectory in life is still an upward curve because of walking. Walking makes me feel like, well, even if I wasn't productive today, I got my steps in and I feel 1% better than if I stayed at home all day. So try daily walking. It's making a difference in my life and countless others. And it probably will make a difference in your life too. If you like this video, you'll probably like my other video about how I beat procrastination using a method you've never heard before.